design procedure of helical spring so first to find the dia of spring wire so we have to use the formula shear stress tau equals to 8 fd k upon pi d cube 20.22 data and book volume 1 so in this case so this we get in the data and book so the formula is 20.22 so this formula tau equals to 8 fd d k pi d cube so in this case 4c minus 1 4c minus 4 plus 0.615 cc is the spring index or c is also d by d after finding k and c is d by d or d is c into d substitute in the equation of this and find the d after find the d the standard of 20 volt 20.12 20 so of this table 20.12 Choose the nearest standard wire dia. So this is the standard dia of the wire. Next, dia of coil. Second step, design procedure, dia of coil, diameter of coil, C is D by D. So in this, if C is known, D is known, this D is known. We have to take this D now, standard dia. So therefore, we get capital D equals to, we mean dia of coil. Now, outer dia is DO plus D plus D. Inner dia of DI is D minus D. Next, third step third procedure number of coils or turns in the spring so for this we have to use equation y equals to d 8 f d q by upon d is to 4 by g so this formula in the table in the handbook page number 20.8 so in this formula 20.29 y equals to this formula 8 f d q upon i d 4 d g so in this y is the deflection which will be given in the data uh, data it f is the uh, axial dist force capital d is the mean dia i is the number of turns d is the standard dia g is modulus of rigidity so in this we have to find i number of turns i equals to so next fourth procedure free length l is should be greater or equals to 1 plus r n d i plus n d y a n is uh, 2 as we made square and ground ends a is 25 percent of maximum deflection so in this we find the lo so next fifth procedure is pitch pitch lo minus 2d upon i so in this notable 20.14 we can get this lo minus 2d upon i so next required stiffness or rate of string f4 equals to f by i y or explosive stiffness f4 equals to d raised to 4 uh, 8 i d cube is 20.30 so this 20.3 so this formula 8 d d raised to 4 upon d i d cube so this we find f4 so this was about the given uh, the procedure there are seven points now the given data so given data shear stress if it's given then it's okay if it is not given you can assume uh, chrome vanadium steel from table 20.10 so from table 20.10 chrome vanadium steel in this take 0 0.69 uh, in the shear stress to, to sigma y and this 79 is the modulus rigidity so shear sigma y uh, tau y is 690 mpa and g is 79 gpa so the allowable shear stress tau is tau y upon f1 we can take f1 as 2 you can assume it as 2 so that's 345 mpa now types of uh, problems or types of uh, given data to solve helical spring problems so type 1 so type 1 in this a uh, simple axial load will be given f deflection y will be given in mm spring index c will be given and shear stress will be given or may not given so, dip, so if it's given then okay then now after this after this directly start the procedure just now which i had explained now type 2 so this is the operating a load range or automatic or automobile engine problems so in this the maximum load of the valve f2 minimum load f1 will be given and the deflection for this load range 2 will be uh, called as y dash will be given the spring and c will be given shear stress tau will be given g will be given now to before procedure starting the procedure just find a y2 y dash f2 minus upon f2 minus f1 this is 20.31 equation 20.31 So this equation 20.31 so y, y2 equals to 
y2 equals to y dash f2 upon f2 minus f1 you get y2 now start the procedure for, the, for this type 2's so this type 2's now wherever the y so in the deflection so in the procedure so in the procedure for you know in this f they consider f2 now in the procedure and in the procedure y you can consider y2 so y becomes y2 now f becomes f2 maximum force you have to consider now third type of given data is energy absorbed so energy absorbed u is dash newton meter will be given so maximum force f will be given so c will be given so stress and g will be given so therefore first you have to simplify therefore the maximum deflection u equals to half f into y this is the uh, energy absorbed formula u equals to 1 by 2 f into y so in this find the y now start the procedure as usual so f will be the f y will be the y start the procedure next uh, the ray type 4 is a narrow narrow gauge car railway engine moving stopped by springs so it's a railway engine moving with velocity v it is stopped by buffer springs so first the weight of the car or wagon will be given w or dash newtons velocity will be given in kilometer per hour we have to convert into mm per second number of strings we have will be given noted down deflection y will be given that is noted down spring c will be given noted down d or d or c or d or d will be given so d or d is given then find the c so equals to d by d so find c then shear stress tau will be given g will be given now kinetic energy of the moving car is half m mass into velocity square so 1 by 2 w by g velocity square so w by g is substitute and find the kinetic energy in newton mm also the energy stored in each spring is kinetic energy upon number of springs so so this each spring is v the u so u is half f into y so in this y will be given u will be given, known that is and I'll just show you each screen. So you have to find the F. After finding F, now start the procedure.